I'm so glad you joined me today. My name is Miss Trisha, and I'm very excited to share a funny but educational book with you today. It is called There's a Skeleton Inside of You by Aiden, Ben Barrick, and Julian Frost. But before we do that, let's start by saying hello. Can you say hello with your toes? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle those toes. Good job. Say hello with your knees. Can you wiggle your knees a little bit? Good job. Say hello with your hands. Say hello with your head. And say hello to all of our friends. Hi, friends. Again, thank you for joining for Storytime with Winona Public Library today. Let's get right into our story. There's a skeleton inside you. Is there a skeleton inside of you? There is, we all have skeletons inside of us. Some animals don't have skeletons inside of them, but we have skeletons inside us. That's all of our bones. You can kind of feel some of your bones if you touch your hands or you touch your feet, you touch your nose, you can kind of feel some, some cartilage in there, but some bone. So we all have a skeleton inside of us. I wonder why he's so surprised to find out there's a skeleton inside of us. Let's see. <clears throat> Quag and Ort are on their way to Kevin's birthday party. Unfortunately, there has been a slight detour. Don't worry, Ort. I'll fix the ship and we'll be on our way in no time. Just as soon as you open the door. I can't open the door. I'm just a gas cloud. That would cause some problems. It looks like they're going to need a hand. It's just that we blobs aren't very good with door handles. Turn the page to help Quag and Ort open the spaceship door. All right, here we go. Whoop. Hey, it worked! Oh good, the door opened by itself. I don't think so, Quag. Look, someone is reading this book. Can they see us? Do you think they can see us? Give Quag and Ort a wave. Can you wave hi? Hello, Quag and Ort. Wow, you have hands. I think hands might be useful for fixing our spaceship. Great idea. I'm going to grow some. Wow. Now it's time for Quag to fix the ship so they can get to Kevin's birthday party. First, Quag needs to push the engine down the hill with her new hands. Your hands look kind of floppy. They do look a little floppy there, don't they? She seems to be having some trouble. Shall we show her how? Give the page a push right here. Let's see. That was a good push. How come your hands aren't floppy? Let's show Quag and Ort what's inside your hands that keeps them so straight. Place your right hand here for a second or two so Ort can look inside. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press it right here. One, two. <gasps> what does this show? It's like an x-ray, it showed all the bones in my hand. Ah, and there's a skeleton inside you. Those are your bones. They keep your body nice and straight. In that case, I'm gonna grow some bones too. Bones give your body structure and help you move. Without bones, you'd be like jelly. Hey, they work. Now Quag needs to lift the engine into place. She seems to be having some trouble. Shall we show her how? Lift this book over your head. I'm gonna lift up. Can you stretch your arms up to help me? Let's see. Wow, you're great at lifting. What makes you so strong? Let's show Quag and Ort what's inside your hands that makes them so strong. Place your hand here so Ort can look inside. Gently now. What do you think's inside that makes your hands so strong? One, two. Any guesses what it's called? Oh, whoa, look at that. Those are your muscles. They give you strength to do stuff. Well, in that case, I'm gonna grow some muscles too. 
Muscles connect to your bones, and when they contract, they pull the bones and they make you move. It works. Wow. The final thing Quag needs to do is turn the ship's power back on. It's very dark in here. How am I supposed to find the switch? Hurry up or we'll miss the cake. Quag seems to be having trouble feeling with her hands in the dark. Shall we show her how? Close your eyes, then turn the page without looking. All right, here we go. Did I do it? Let's show Quag and Ort what's inside your hand that lets you feel things. Place your hand here so Ort can look inside. It might tingle just a little bit. What do you think is inside your hand that helps you feel a little bit? One, two. What do you think? Weird, your hand is full of strings. Now those aren't strings, do you know what those are called? Those are your nerves. They let your hands feel what you're touching. In that case, I'm gonna grow some nerves too. Nerves send messages to your brain, telling it about things like shape, textures, and temperature. The engine is attached to the spaceship. The power is on and Quag and Ort are ready to blast off to Kevin's birthday party. Thanks for all your help. These new hands will make steering a lot faster. Give me a high five. Can you give him a high five? <laughs> nice job. And away they go. Hey Quag, what shall we give Kevin for his birthday? I have an idea. <gasps> what did he give him for his birthday? He gave him a hug. He maybe couldn't do it that same way before because he didn't have his arms, he didn't have his muscles or his skeleton or his nerves to tell his body to do something like that. That's kind of cool. So what did we learn about in this book? We learned that we have bones, right? Yeah. And then we have other things in our hands too. We have our bones and then we have what else? We have muscles, yes that make our bones able to move and do things. And then what else do we have? We have nerves that help us feel and touch things, right? So all of those pieces together, our skeleton, our bones, our muscles, and our nerves are all throughout our body. We just looked at the hand in this, but that's all throughout our body. How amazing are our bodies that they have all of those things that help us just do everyday stuff like walk around or eat a bowl of cereal. Our bodies are amazing, amazing things, aren't they? All right, we are going to sing a little song and I'm going to put the words right here so you can sing them with me. And it's all about the bones in my body. Are you ready? I have lots of bones in my body. They help me to stand straight and tall. Cause if there were no bones in my body, my body would crumble and fall. I need all the bones in my body. They help me to stand and to move. I need all the bones in my body because my body's important to me. Good job! Did you crumple and fall just like I did? If you didn't, that's okay. I just like to be silly sometimes. Maybe you can sing this song later or teach it to a friend or an adult in your life and you can show them all about how you can stand straight and tall and how without your bones you might crumble and fall. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Be sure to join us for another story time. You can view our past story times at winona.lib.mn.us to see all the fun we've had before and continue to join us for the fun that's to come. All right, I think it's time we have to say goodbye. So can you wave your elbows? Can you wave your shoulders? Can you wave your eyebrows? Can you wave your nose? Can you wave your chin? Can you wave your lips? All right, now it's time to wave goodbye like this. Thank you so much for joining for story time. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.